Good day, ladies and gents. And I think BSG rolled out the most controversial patch in the recent couple of years. So let's get straight to the patch notes. Uh, there is a new unheard edition added to the game, which you can purchase on the website. It is not available yet. I refreshed. You cannot buy it yet. So I don't know the price of the edition. Uh, but it's going to be more expensive than EOD. It's going to be more than 150 uh, USD. We're yet to see the price. If I were to guess, I would say it should be around 200 USD. Um, and yeah. Uh, this is what you're gonna get when you get the access to this edition. You will get access to PvP co-op mode with persistent progression that doesn't reset with the wipes. So in other words, you will be able to play with your friends, uh, level up, and that is gonna stay through the wipes. I'm not sure how it's gonna work with the loot. Maybe there will be a separate PMC. So you use that separate PMC for offline raids and you keep the loot from offline raids on one screen. And then when you play online, you use a different PMC and you keep online loot on like different screen or something. I don't know. But basically the progress will not be reset throughout the wipes. Uh, you will have an increased stash. Uh, 10 by 72. I don't remember what EOD stash was, but this is probably bigger than EOD. Increased starting level of character skills. So you will not begin with level 0 strength, endurance, etc. You'll begin with high levels, probably like level 5, maybe level 10, maybe level 15. We'll see. Expanded PMC pockets. This is something I wasn't expecting to see whatsoever. As you know, bosses might have bigger pockets. PMCs have pockets 1x4, so you have 4 individual squares for pockets, and bosses might have 2x4, um, uh, so 2 squares for pockets, or 3x4, like 3 square pockets. How pockets is gonna look on our PMC right now, I am not sure. Uh, maybe it's gonna be 3x3 three, three three or something, we'll see. Additional equipment and resources and stash. This doesn't really make too much difference. Sorry, that's my discord gonna quit it real quick uh, That doesn't make a big change, but yeah, you're gonna get like additional resources unique in-game ID. I don't really know what that means, but uh, Maybe you get like a, spe a special color for your name. Maybe your name is gonna be like, I don't know, bro, like with some highlights or whatever like instead of being a golden name when you kill the player they will see a different color maybe like purple maybe blue like who knows dude um all right unique radio electronic item mark of then hurt so i think if we go to a russian version it translates a bit better um yeah it's like mark of then hurt i think it might be i mean it's just a guess but maybe it will be somehow related to Lightkeeper or Cultists. Maybe the Cultist or Lightkeeper will be friendly and you can go to Lightkeeper Island without completing the quest. That's just a random guess. We'll see. Once again, we don't know. We don't know what this means. Once once I get my hands on it, I'll probably make another video. We'll see. Um, unique in-game melee weapon. All right. Uh, we're going to get unique melee weapon. Cool. Unique in-game armband, once again, you're gonna get a unique armband after you purchase this edition. Increase mail uh, retention time. Basically, when you get uh, rubles from the flea market, you have like one day or like two days to collect them, right? Or, or a week maybe, I don't remember. When you get your insurance back, if you're insured by proper, which is the cheapest way, you have three days to collect your insurance. Uh, that retention time is gonna increase, so instead of having three days to collect insurance, you have like seven days or something, we'll see. You will get more slots on the flea market. Right now, I think you start with uh, three slots, if I'm not mistaken, on the flea market. And after getting like 20 rep, you get the fourth one. So, looks like you're gonna start with four slots. Um, yeah. Increased fence standing. So, with EOD, you were having increased uh, standing with all the traders, so you don't have to do as many quests and level up traders as much to hit the second level because your re reputation was higher to begin with. Same thing is gonna happen uh, to fence, like if you're going for max, scav wrap is gonna be easier. Additional main menu background. Right now when you open the game, uh, you have three backgrounds to select from. You can select woods, which I usually woods because which I usually use because it's like the most coming one. You can use factory, like the small bulb on top, and you can use the labs one. But the labs one used to take FPS away, so a lot of people don't use it for that reason. Access to the early test server. All right, you have access to ETS. 
I don't know how many people care about this, but I guess that's a that's a bonus as well if you do care about this. So that's it about the new edition. Let me see if the website updated. No, it says maintenance. Uh, the game is down now. Um, all right, let's look at the actual changes that are coming to the game. Switch the in-game season to late spring. All right, so probably the snow is going to be gone now. There's going to be a lot of um, little ponds, a lot of water. Wa water. And um, if, if they take it close to real life, it rains a lot in, Ru in Russia in spring, so maybe we'll see a lot of rains. Uh, the next thing is that they reduce the base inertia strength. So if you're a low-level PMC, inertia is not going to feel as tough, it's not going to feel as uh, laggy, it's going to feel better. Reduce the aim punch, in fact. All right, so when you're shooting someone and someone shoots you back and they hit your shoulder, your arms, your chest, whatever, your gun jumps up, right? And BSG are reducing that aim punch effect, so I guess the gun is not going to jump as much when you're getting hit while you're shooting someone. Or are we just, like, just aiming? Reduce the blur effect when taking damage. Once again, when you're shooting someone, when you're fighting someone, people hit you, you get um, blur effect and you can't really see your enemies well. That is getting reduced. Reduce the camera shake effect while shooting. All right, so when you were shooting, there were two recoils. First recoil is the gun recoil, your gun going up. And the second recoil is your camera recoil, right? So you shoot, your gun goes up as well as your camera is shaking left and right, up and down. Camera shake effect is reduced. Uh, some hitbox penetration rework. Change the mechanic of body hitbox penetration. Now the body hitbox is always penetrated. If the round's penetration power is set, it's higher than the hitbox penetration threshold. Head, forearm, shoulder, calf, and thigh hitboxes have a threshold value of 20. So, in other words, if your bullet has higher than the 20 and uh, you shoot somebody in the chest through their arm, so let's say PMC standing straight, and you shoot them in the chest, and the bullet goes through their arm. If the bullet has a high append of 20, it's going to append the arm and go straight into their chest. So, in other words, arms will not be will not be blocking bullets anymore. The damage and penetration power of the bullets degrades when it penetrates the body hitbox, meaning that the next body hitbox will receive reduced damage. Well, Self-explanatory, I guess. The extent of damage reduction depends primarily on the round's penetration power stat. Secondly, depends on the caliber of the round and the body part's hitbox penetration threshold. The greater the penetration power stat and the caliber of the round, the smaller the damage reduction. Reduce the armpit hitbox size. Okay. Armor penetration rework. If the round's penetration power stat is 15 more than armor's effective durability, this will result in a guaranteed penetration. The following must be taken into the account. Effective durability for intact armor is approximately equal to the armor class multiplied by 10. Um, so basically, intact armor is uh, armor class multiplied by 10. So like if you're wearing uh, armor level 5, we'll multiply 5 by 10, we'll get 50. So you need more... Um, your, your, your bullet's penetration needs to be 65 in order to penetrate this armor in 100% of the cases. Uh, effective durability for damaged armor decreases with the loss of durability points. Yep, so in other words, if the armor is, let's say... Um, if the armor is 50 out of 100, the front plate, let's say it's 50 out of 100, I guess we can decrease the quality... Uh, by 2, like in, in 2 divided by 2, so uh, level 5 armor at half percent durability, your penetration needs to be uh, 40 in order to penetrate it 100% of the time, if that makes sense. Many cartridges have a small starting variation in armor penetration, okay. Armor penetration degrades with loss of bullet velocity. Armor penetration may degrade after colliding with armor, body hitboxes or obstacles. Obstacles? All right, that doesn't really make a lot of sense, but I think some streamers, some people will definitely make some tests and will get more um, more valuable results uh, after the patch is out. But uh, this is it. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know, bro. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about the hard edition. I feel like this is the ultimate, ultimate microtransaction edition uh, to boost your PMC pockets and all of that stuff. So let me know what you think about this edition, if you're going to buy it. I think I'll definitely buy it just to make the review of it. I don't know if it's worth it, because I don't know the price. Uh, but yeah, I think this is it, more or less. Uh, this is the patch we are getting today. That notification was mine, by the way. 
And thank you so much for watching the video. I will see you in the next one. Take care.